Flying saucers, reports of alien bodies at the scene, a government cover-up of monumental proportions. Put it all together, and you have two of the most intriguing cases in the history of ufology. That's right, two. Obviously, the Roswell incident of 1947 is one, but there is another almost identical case, and it's happening right now in Brazil. Victorio Pacchini is one of Brazil's leading ufologists, a tireless investigator who has spent a lifetime researching thousands of UFO sightings throughout Brazil. But despite Pacchini's best efforts, Brazil has never gained recognition as a major UFO hotspot, until now. The sightings began early on the morning of January 20th, 1996. Pacchini rushed to Varginha in eastern Brazil, where he took testimony from cattle rancher Eurico Rodriguez de Freitas. De Freitas claimed that he had seen a large and seemingly damaged saucer hovering at treetop level. It had panicked his herd. A noise was made by the cattle, and it got my attention. It was 1 a.m., and the object passed through here. So what exactly did you see? Tell me the details. Details? Uh, well, it was covered with smoke. It was a big object about the size of a small bus, and it hovered for 40 minutes about five meters off the ground. Pacchini tried to corroborate De Freitas' account and found more eyewitnesses, including the mayor of a neighboring town. It was an object almost the same size of a small bus. It was rectangular. I could see it had five lights. It was almost at the top of that eucalyptus tree. There were also reports that the local fire department had been called out to investigate the appearance of a strange humanoid creature on the outskirts of town. Varginas Fire Department is also its animal control agency and routinely rounds up all kinds of wild animals that stray into populated areas. But what they captured on the afternoon of January 20th was unlike any animal they had seen before. The creature had been on a slope toward a wooded area, and children had been throwing rocks at it, probably because they didn't know what it was and were a bit frightened of it. The firemen didn't have any trouble capturing this creature because it was somewhat dazed, perhaps from being hit by the rocks. This creature was then carried off by the military. Throughout the day, the fire department and reportedly the military began to respond to calls from frantic citizens who were seeing more humanoid creatures. Based on the times of the calls and the distance between sightings, Pacchini believes that there may have been as many as five different creatures. Most of the sightings were fleeting glimpses, but these young women claim they saw much more. They were coming from work, they were cleaning somebody's house, and then they decided to make this shortcut, and all of a sudden, they just saw that creature, you know, uh, just uh, leaning against the wall, you know, bending down. They got really scared. They thought it could be the devil. Lilian and Bacarina, I would like you to see this picture and see if it's close to what you have seen. See. They were going to arrive at 2 o'clock, and it was already 2.45, and they hadn't gotten home yet. So I was really worried, and I went to meet with them. I got off my street at the corner, and I met with Liliana, and she was very nervous, crying a lot. And uh, then Katia and Lakia were coming. After I had calmed them, they told me, Mama, I'm really scared because I think I saw the devil today. Based on their testimony, the creatures were dubbed alien beasts and linked to the UFO sightings. The media began to demand answers, but in this case, Brazilian officials had very short memories. Did you see that kind of animal that was captured months ago? I was on holiday. But is there anyone who can talk about it? No, nobody. But didn't you have any friends that were working here that day? I was on holidays. What I know is what you know. And what is it? I don't know. However, Pacchini claims that a high-ranking member of the military told him off the record that an alien creature was taken into custody. They took it to Humanitas Hospital. Many uh, different doctors, over 15 of them, were in that place. Intelligence people from the army. You know, that creature had this horrible smell. One of the doctors came over and, you know, 
grab the, the creature's chin like this, open that little slit, and uh, using tweezers, he grabbed the tongue and pulled it out a little bit. It, it looked like a black ribbon, like a, or some lizard, uh, a tongue or something like that. Many people saw that. We have the statements recorded. And then he released this and it went back immediately. According to this same anonymous source, at least two humanoid beings were captured and examined at Humanitas Hospital. They both died a short time later while in military custody. Pacacini claims his source told him that Brazil was not the only government with an intense interest in the creatures. One of the military witnesses indicated that the United States government not only alerted the Brazilian uh, military that this object was coming down, but that several American officials had showed up and were on the scene to help direct the process secretly. I was quite impressed with the depth of investigation done by Mr. Pacacini. Nuclear physicist Staten Friedman was one of the original investigators of the Roswell incident. I'm convinced that bodies were recovered down there. The government made a substantial effort to shut things up and that thanks to the very hard work of a number of investigators down there, the story is coming out bit by bit. The striking similarities between the Varshina sightings and the Roswell incident have not escaped UFO researchers. Information on Brazil is all over the internet, and this time, ufologists vow, proof of extraterrestrial contact won't slip through the World Wide Web. This is a very big story. It's recent, a lot of people involved, medical, military, some serious investigation, the press has gotten involved. Uh, this could be the, the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak. Since our investigative team in Brazil filed this report, UFO sightings have increased dramatically. There has also been another sighting of a so-called alien spotted in a wooded area near Varginha. Sightings will bring you more information on the UFO activity in Brazil on future programs.